In this example, we will calculate the dynamic torque equations for a one link robot. This is basically a motor driving a load. So you can see here that the motor has moment of inertia Jm and the link connected to it has mass of ml and length L. There is a transmission ratio between the motor and the load. So the transmission ratio is in, and so this means that theta of the motor equals n times theta of the link. Okay, so the motor has to turn more times than the link turns. And this is so that we can use a lower torque at the motor than we would if we were doing direct drive. So if we're given all of those variables, we need to find motor torque and we'll find it as a function of um, all of those variables in theta m. So, for this, we will use method one, and that is the energy in Lagrangian. So the procedure, step one is find the energies and get the Lagrange. Step two is take derivatives. And step three is put them into the torque equation. Now in this case, theta m is the joint variable. So we will be doing things in terms of theta m instead of q, and we will need to convert theta l to theta m using that transmission ratio if we happen to get it in the equations. So starting out, let's write the kinetic energy. This is a general formula. So we have two parts. We have the motor and we have the link. So we need to use both of those. So for the motor, that's pretty straightforward. Now for the link, we have to include, um, we have to use its inertia around the center of mass right here. So we'll have to use parallel axis theorem. We have this formula because um, the moment of inertia of the link around its central point is 1 12th ml squared, and then its angular velocity is theta L dot squared. So then we add in the linear term from parallel axis theorem. So if you don't remember moment of inertia and parallel axis theorem, go back and view those videos on the Dynamics YouTube channel. Now, from here, we need to substitute out because we have theta m and theta l, and we need to get this all in terms of just theta m. So we'll use the equation theta m equals n times theta l and substitute. So this is the kinetic energy. Next, we need to get the potential energy. That's the general formula. So if we look here, what moves up is going to be the link. So we need this height. So that's for potential and then for kinetic. So we, next we take the time derivative of that. Then finally, we put all of these together into the torque equation.
So this is the equation for motor torque. Now, what if there was actually friction here? Let's say we had mu for the Coulomb friction and B for the damping coefficient. So we'd have to add those in. So here we'll have the dissipative. Then here we have the inertial. And here we have the gravitational. 